So I picked up this box. It's this way. Isn't that a beautiful looking box? Yes. And that's Linda. And what it turned out to be, it's um, looks like Jang Hong Honggu breakfast rice cereal. Welcome to healthy vegan living. And it looks a lot like cream of wheat to me. And the directions are, look like they're lithography you can see. So you pour it in a bowl, you put hot water, and you want it to look similar to this. A lot like cream of wheat. Not mushy and mixed up like this. So the directions are add one package 30 grams of the product rice cereal into a bowl or a cup. Pour boiling water 85 degrees centigrade or 185 degrees Fahrenheit into the bowl or cup and stir clockwise. Now, what hand, I wonder what happens if you stir counterclockwise for one or two minutes. Serve when it becomes mushy with a natural aroma from all premium ingredients. Using water lowers the subjected temperature of mixing with too little or, or mixing too little water will lose the ideal texture. Look and aroma of the rice cereal. Okay, we're going to open the strip here. container and it looks like a cup of coffee over here and on the back are more instructions I'm going to open it up okay and inside of it are these containers you see how they are the little containers, you see the inside, and so you're probably going to get a whole bunch of these inside the box. So we're just going to open up, and see what it looks like that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get a small bowl, so then take it, that's what it looks like if you op when you open the individual package, pour the package in the bowl, and then next get your water, hot water. So the instructions do not tell you how much water to put in. So I'm microwaving water in my microwave and I used three minutes. So it should be boiling hot. Of course, I could have used a teapot, but of course, that's packed. I don't know what box it's in. So that's what's happening. Okay, so it took me five minutes to boil the water in the microwave. So you pour the water in and you turn clockwise. I'm sure that you do it a little bit at a time. I wasn't sure how much water. I'm sure it doesn't take two cups, but I made sure I could. That's, um, that noise is from Joy, who says she wants to go outside right now. Want to go outside? Some food. Everything starts to moving. Got to go back outside, okay. I'm trying to get all the edges there too. Looks pretty much ready. It looks mushy, like I was saying. It reminds me of cream of wheat, but there's no cream of wheat in this. I got this from a very, very good friend. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more. And if you see all my, my cereals or any of my breakfasts, you know that I'm going to put in all these these fruits like over here is a yellow mango, I have peaches, a very ripe banana, and over here I have blueberries. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is I'm just going to taste it to see what it tastes like. It reminds me of uh, cream of wheat. You know that quick cream of wheat that they, they put out? But of course it, there's no wheat in this, it's rice. Alright, so that's a, that's a really good deal. All right, so we're going to put the banana in next. And this is a very, very ripe banana. I love ripe bananas. I love the sugar it imparts in it. Now, my wife, once as soon as there's a spot on the banana, she says, no, I can't eat it. 
but for me I just I've always learned to eat bananas very very ripe which is why when I use plantains they're so dark because I love the sugar that's in them and these have already been washed you see I'm using a spoon that's how ripe they are got this from a backyard of a good friend right Alan and he's in Germany right now doing God's work and that's what that looks like I'm gonna put one more in they're so ripe you don't even need a knife okay, you could probably get away with that but you know I'm vegan so I'm always going to push the envelope the mango isn't going to work because there's just not enough room in the bowl we are going to squeeze in some blueberries and these blueberries were purchased at Sam's Club I'm going to open the container that is and that's what it's going to look like and that's my vegan breakfast today now if it was me I would have used two of these packages I mean this was for me but I mean it was an experiment but I can see the because uh, I eat a lot more than that and I'm so busy with the packing, unpacking. I say packing because I pack a box here. I go to the other house and I unpack it. So, you know, a lot of things are in flux still. We're still trying to find things. We're trying to assemble the kitchen so I can show you the new kitchen. A lot of things are going on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I hope that you enjoy this quick video. And this was a good friend that gave us this, this box. And I think that this is gonna be a very nice breakfast that I'll be able to use in the future and so it looks like a really good deal I think that I'm gonna have to try to find this box so I can buy some more thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you soon if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this video give us a thumbs up thank you for watching